I'm handsome, I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. Feel it when you leave the earth. A hundred percent adrenaline rush is what we know is worth. If nothing else, we came to do So, so to your point, Steve's point, it's a two part question. It is. Yes. You asked about the threshold. We really got to sit back and ask ourselves if there was no Earl, golf probably would never have been transcended the way it did. Mm, um, that's culturally, good. Yeah. that's good. Um, that's good. Know, the sport moving forward. With just a new face. So the ends justify the mean. Right. And then you think about this too. Okay. You got the Serena Williams twins. If there was no Mr. Williams, there may have never been. A Serena or Venus. A Serena yeah. or Venus. Yeah. How many parents are out there that could have pushed their kids and those numbers been multiplied? Yeah. A Serena, a Venus, a Tiger, a Mr. A Mr. Jordan. So you have the threshold, but then you also have what if the parents would have pushed their kids, and now we got an influx of kids who could have changed the world and sports that we know as we know it. There's been times where I train my son, and I have to sit back afterwards and say, "Dang man, he kind of went too far there," and I have to go Why? to him and apologize. Stay right there. But, Why? But, but, How do you feel that? It could better. it could be it could say why do you feel bad after you after you it could him hard? it could have been I, I might have gotten emotional and not felt like he picked it up as fast as I would have liked him to uh -huh. or I I may have explained something multiple times and he's continued to do it wrong but then when I see him get better I'm like ah maybe I do have the right approach you know so it's a double edged sword it's a double edged sword man and and it's a very thin line to where. You might have thought Mr. Earl was deranged and effed up, but think about long term where he saw a vision that nobody else saw. He did. He and, said, no, and you got to be comfortable. You got to be comfortable with people not seeing you. Ooh, you got to be comfortable with people seeing you crazy yeah. when you got a vision. We've gotten a lot. We have a lot of examples to go about. Look, yeah, we just, I, we're, talking I, I about this, we're talking about the Super Bowl. People may not realize this, but Patrick Mahomes' father played Major League Baseball. Yeah. There are different ways to go about it. I think a lot of it has to do with your personality. Now, there is a difference between um, an Archie Manning and Patrick Mahomes' father. Like, they actually played professional sports. Yeah. So they didn't necessarily have to I agree. I, I can agree with that. Like, yeah. through that, their yeah. sons, uh, comparison to Earl Woods or, or someone like that, who tied his dream was – Really was his dream, not Tiger's dream. That's yeah. right. He wanted his son to get to the top because I think deep down he felt like he could get to the top, but he wasn't able to. So I think there is a difference. You said we can't really compare the two. It's an apples and oranges comparison. Yeah, and you got to be careful, man, and just make sure you're not coming from a place. So like when I train my son, Steve would tell you, when I train my son, there's been times where he's been in literal tears yeah. while while we're doing you know specific training drills, and it's not to push him away is to get him to understand that practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect, son. That's good. Uh, so if I'm having you do this over and over and over and over and over and over again, it's to get you mentally ready for where for when, like Earl did, he would walk by and jiggle his keys. Yeah, yeah. He would move the ball. Yeah. Those things are getting you ready for the future. So you may you may be crying now. You ain't dying. I'm not. I'm not putting no gun to your head. It may be a little tough, but when he gets 10, 11, 12, things are going to start. The game is going to come easier to him. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I watch my son excel. He's five years old, and I watch him excel. He don't. He doesn't understand how good he is. I know how good he is, but I can't let him know. No, absolutely not. And it's from a. It's from. Hours and hours and hours of preparation in the garage, yeah. in the backyard, at the gym, you know. And I'm thinking, I got a six month old. And I'm thinking to myself, like, dang, I got to do this all over again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, this like so, Earl said. So Earl said something special. He said, "A lot of man hours." It is, yeah. 
So let's go back here. So we got and, a special guest. And, 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 and before, go before, before, before you go on, I don't want you to think it's just all about sports. You also got to take those same man hours and raise your exactly. kids. Exactly. You've got to raise now, kids, man. Go ahead and preach then, Don. You have to really raise kids. You know, yeah. like my son is starting to ask questions now that I can't lie to him no more. He want to know. That's right. Daddy, why such and such live over here and his dad don't live his dad don't live in the same house like you and mommy do? You know, and he catch me. I'm on the fly. Like, I got to think of something here. Well, I don't know, son. You have to ask his. You're gonna ask his mom and dad that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these are the things he's asking me. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, thanks for checking out footage from our latest episode. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel, the Steve Joe Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button.